Welcome everybody over to the video today. I'm glad y'all came back to see the updates that we've made on the condo and it has been a while since I've uploaded an update video for y'all and I so apologize for that. It makes me feel so good in being too when y'all are reaching out wanting updates because so many of y'all have been so supportive and are really keeping up with it and I'm sorry that I have delayed getting post up for y'all. We have gotten a lot done and we have also been staying over at the condo some when Ben is not at work. But on the last video, we'll just recap where we left off. I did some DIY projects. Y'all know I love to spray paint things and refresh them, give them a new life and reuse them and save money where we can. And we did that with the lighting in our dining room. And this light right here is still a very beautiful fixture. I love it. It gives off a lot of light. And we were also cleaning. We had to go through the condo and wipe down the walls really good. We had to mop over the floors really well because we had layers and layers of dust. And Ben had finished out our bathroom vanity. And actually, this bathroom is functioning. It only has cold water and we still don't have the shower connected yet. But we do have a plumber that's already come over, looked at everything, and we are just gradually getting the fixtures all purchased. And once he comes, we will have a running shower. But y'all know we live four minutes away, so taking a shower, we can go home and do that. But we can wash our face and brush our teeth before we go to bed at night. This is what the bedroom looked like when we when we left off and left y'all about, I guess, over a month ago. And this is what the family room looked like when we when we last left off. So I just want to bring y'all along today and show y'all some updates of what we've done. Ben, after um, the video was uploaded about a month ago, he went through and now he is still going around just doing small touch-ups. He's touching up paint. And he wanted to get this little area right here caught in because we are about to go get us a TV. And this was so exciting because football season is officially here now. But we did want to have a big TV so we could enjoy the football games and really enjoy this space this fall for sure. Because the weather is going to be amazing to actually sit out on the balcony and enjoy the beautiful water view. So we did get the TV in, and the TV we purchased, we went and shopped for it and got it at Walmart. And we've had this brand before, so we just stuck with it. But we did get a larger screen, and we did get a smart TV. So, you know, I know we will enjoy this TV a lot, and we already have. So just a great way for us to enjoy the fall season, enjoy some football games, and just to have a relaxing weekend over at the condo, just to have some quiet time, and just get away from the house. And it actually does feel like you were on vacation when you were at the condo. The other thing that we've been really busy doing since we last posted was decorating the condo and furnishing it. Now I'm trying to furnish it on a budget, so I'm going to show you a few things that we've done. And in today's video, I'm really going to focus on the updates that we have done to the bedroom and this family room area. So we've got the TV over there, and I've got it on a foyer table right now. But I do want to get a really nice TV stand on down the road. But you can see this area right here. We need some furniture. So we got a couple of sofas. We got a larger sofa with a love seat. So I'm going to show you how this just transformed the whole room. When we went sofa shopping, I first, I, I went with a vision that I wanted a sectional. Because we have a sectional in our home currently and I love it. But when we got to the furniture store, I totally changed my mind. And we saw these two separate sofas. This is a larger sofa with more of a love seat style. And I thought this would work better for our space and especially when you're entertaining. So y'all can see I have not hung up any wall decor yet. I do have some and I'm just kind of randomly placing it where I think I want it to go. But I have not committed yet and we have not put any nail holes in the wall yet. So I'm just kind of experimenting with y'all and y'all let me know in the comments of what y'all think. I'm thinking about putting that large cathedral frame with that uh, wreath up there and I can change that out pretty soon with some Christmas decor. But here, here is the room from all angles. And I'm going to show you in just a minute how I DIY'd this coffee table. 
And you can also see we've got the bar stools at the bar. So now we've got that seating area. And you can also see how the light fixture, how pretty it is. Now in my next video, y'all make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure you're getting those notifications. So hit that bell because I'm going to put up in my next video of our dining room table that I just got. And I got it at a really great price. And I'm going to show you how I DIY it. You can also see that Ben has installed a ceiling fan and a light fixture in this room now. And I'm sorry for the glare, but that whole wall over there, as you can see, you know, it's got the windows and the French doors, of course, leading out to the water view. So you do get some glare. I am working on and thinking of what I want to do for some window treatments. I don't want to block out the view, but I do, I would like to have some kind of window treatments. So when you're watching TV some days, as the sun's coming in, we don't get that glare. Here's just a little vignette area that I set up with just a $5 yard sale table. And that chair over there with the pumpkin on it, I paid $2.50 for it. And I made over it years ago. But here's a coffee table that I upcycled. Y'all, this was a $5 find at a yard sale. And I don't know if a dog chewed off the corner of it or not. But I snatched this table up. It is, I think it is solid wood, but it needed a repair. So the first thing I did was I wanted to try some air dry clay on it. And I have had success using air dry clay to re make repairs on different things. And y'all can see it turned out really pretty. Once it dried though, and I came out to sand it, y'all, it fell off. <laughs> so the corner of my coffee table, it absolutely fell off. So I had to start over. I scraped all that off and now I'm gonna use some wood putty. And this is what I should have used from, from the beginning. So using a cereal box, I'm gonna have to kind of make a little frame around it just so I can get the corner shape the way I want it. And I just went in and liberally applied this wood putty and you can see it starts out bright pink, but once it dries, it will go to a really light white sandy color. So I just globbed it on and then I put another little um, frame around it using my cereal box and some tape. And then that way it's got a good frame around it until it dries. Now I went in with my little putty knife and I just smoothed out that top as best I could. And now we are just going to wait and let it dry really good. Now I'll let this cure for a few days because I wanted to assure that it was dried really well before we removed that little cardboard frame that we had around it. And now I have called in the professionals. <laughs> I don't want the corner to fall off again. So I've asked Ben to help me. So we removed the cardboard. And like I say, we let this sit for a few days just to ensure that it dried really well. Now he's getting some sandpaper and he's going to go over it and he's going to sand it down very smooth, as smooth as we can get it. Just so it looks like it has not, you know, been repaired, but it also, now it has a corner. So, you know, I don't know in the future, the corner of the coffee table, it may fall off again. I don't know. But for right now, I just painted over it and we made it work. So for my little $5 coffee table, I'm absolutely in love with it. And if you ever have to make a repair like that, I hope this is helpful to you because to me, I think it's going to work and I think that did the trick. So don't ever be afraid to buy damaged furniture because it can be repaired and it can be made over. So now let's move on to the bedroom. This is where we left off with the bedroom. We've got a blank slate. The first thing I wanted to do was put up some window treatments. So I got a really pretty white uh, pole type curtain rod. I've purchased it at Walmart and Ben is just putting some anchors in the wall and he's just putting up the brackets for it. Now, I'm putting up drop cloth curtains. Y'all know those are my favorite curtains to, to put up as window treatments. You just buy them by the pack, and you take them home, and then you just want to wash them really well, and then we hung those, and you'll see them in just a minute. This was a roadside trash find. Ben's uncle, one day, we went over and helped him install a new bed that he had ordered, and he did not no longer wanted this brass headboard, so he told us to put it out by the road, so I asked him what size it was. He said king size, and I asked him if I could have it. So we've had this headboard, and it's just like I say, it is just an outdated brass headboard. 
I just went over it with some white spray paint. And y'all know that we just received a brand new mattress from Lul. And this absolutely right here is a game changer for sleeping. Now it came like that with the platform, but it was on the, on the floor. So I wanted to raise it up. So I ordered the legs that went with it and the legs were very easy to install. So this lifted the platform of the bed up about eight inches. And when it did, it made my headboard too short. So now all we're gonna do to raise the headboard up is we're gonna take a couple of spindles. And I usually have spindles in my supplies because anytime I see these at yard sales, I always buy spindles at a good price. So we're just gonna cut them up. And we first thought we were gonna use these ends. They were the most decorative, which you're really not gonna see them anyway. But these right here, they did not work. So we ended up using the other ends that we cut off and I'll show them to you in just a minute. But these right here we thought would work, but we were gonna glue them on the bottoms of those headboard legs, but they would not glue on, they would not stick. So now we're gonna go with these and what we're gonna do is, all I did was I painted them white to match the headboard. We took the caps off the bottom of the headboard legs and now we're just gonna slip these up in there until they get to a tight area and they just kind of snug down, down in there and that absolutely lifted the headboard up to the appropriate height. Now the headboard is perfect. This type bed that we got from Lul, it needed a standalone headboard. And so for right now, we are just using this free brass headboard that I refreshed with some spray paint. And like I say, we lifted it up and now you'll never know. And now it is the right height for the bed. So the bedding, I also want to show y'all some new bedding, and I have this linked in my Amazon store. This little comforter right here with the fringe on it, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm still working on the pillows. I need to get some new pillow covering and stuff like that. But this is the bedding so far, but most of this bedding is all linked in my Amazon store. And this wheat color comforter that I just received, I absolutely love it. And y'all, for a king size, when I ordered mine, you got more of a discount. And this was like in the 40 something dollar range. And you got the two king size pillowcases and also the, um, the comforter. And also you can see that Ben has put up the ceiling fan in here. And now you can see the drop cloth curtains. This room is very simple right now. I'm not gonna put a lot of furniture in it. I wanna keep it really airy. And, you know, just because, you know, having two homes now, I don't want a lot of clutter in this one because it's just more stuff for me to have to clean. Make sure to leave me a comment below if you have to sleep with a fan going at night <laughs> because I feel like the majority of all of us, we have to have that noise maker and we love that, that cool air blowing on us. And again, I have not hung up any wall decor in here yet but i do have a couple of diys that i've been working on so they will hopefully be in my next video but i'll show you a couple of mirrors that i thrifted and got really at good deals and how i'm going to upcycle those and i'm thinking i'm going to hang some of those in here this is a picture when the sun is going down i just wanted to let y'all see what a beautiful view we have from the bedroom you can lay in bed at this time of day and this is actually my favorite time of day is the sunset when the sun starts to go down and it gets in those clouds just the reflection on the water and in the sky is such an amazing sight so just letting you enjoy some of the beautiful scenery that we have and that's what it's all about at the condo is just getting to enjoy some of the beautiful nature and in sky that god has cre created for us is absolutely magnificent so like i say in the next video i'm going to show y'all some updates to the kitchen and how i've done some decorating and got some decor on a budget for the kitchen so my next video i've already started it so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and i'm so glad y'all came over and i'm so sorry it's been so long since we give y'all an update don't know if many of y'all know, but Ben took a bus driving job. He used to be a bus driver. 
years ago and there was an opportunity that came along and he got a full-time bus route. So he is driving a school bus now. So we are very excited about that. He's enjoying it, but that's where some of his time has been spent. So that is another reason we have not got videos up uh, to y'all like we should because he's been working and doing that. So I've been over on my other channel trying to keep it going by myself because Ben was a huge help to me, but it's all working out. And like I say, now that we're getting to the decorating and the furnishing part, I hope to bring y'all lots of good content. This right here is a little Mexican restaurant that is called The Barge, and it is on a barge. You can eat some beautiful Mexican food, enjoy the, the water view, and on Fridays and Saturday nights, they have live bands. So we can sit out on our balcony and actually listen to some music. So absolutely incredible. So y'all, I'm going to end the video now. Thank y'all so much for all your sweet comments and your encouraging words, and I will see y'all again in the next video. Bye, y'all.